Today is the Under Armour All Out Mile. Okay, come on, make a smile. Ooh. You know what I realized? I have not had, I literally have had zero sips of water today. Oh! Good effect. How'd it go, Bella? I got halfway and I was like, I think it went out too hard. Any hotties? Any what, hotties? I wasn't really paying attention, I was just paying attention to me flying down the road, you know? <laughs> Rise and shine. Ooh. Ah. Same breakfast as yesterday. Coffee first, though. I look like George Washington with his haircut. Haircut? I didn't get my haircut. I didn't need to eat breakfast. <sighs> Today's the day, you guys. Why am I so nervous? I need to stop. Look good, feel good, look good, feel good. My hormonal acne is raging, so. Focus on the positives, Emma, focus on the positives. Um. You're in New York, you love New York. It's not 95 degrees today, it's just 75 and thunderstorming. <laughs> today we're running the all out mile, if you haven't come to realize that. Today's video is brought to you by Under Armour. Sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder, I gotta do my makeup, correct? I'm here in the Big Apple at Under Armour's Pursuit event. One of the main things that we're doing on this trip, we're running it all out mile. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the most prepared for this. Like, you know, we've really ramped up the running the last month, but have I done any sort of speed work under eight minute pace? No. I have not even done a stride. <laughs> but that's okay, because today's goal is to have fun and push myself to the physical limit. I already know that I'm stressing everyone out that's here as well for like media stuff because I'm like stressing myself out over this mile and everyone's like, why are you so stressed? I'm like, you don't get it. No one else here, like they're all like traditional media people pretty much. I don't think anyone has a set like running background. So it's just funny because here I am like putting so much pressure on myself for what? And everyone else is here is like, I am so excited to run a mile. It'll be fun. And I'm like, if I don't run under <laughs> No, like I said in my last video though, I am a lot better this year. Like last year all day, I was literally just like freaking out. I remember I was, I was working my nine to five and I was just like, like all day long. This morning, been way, way more chill. The nerves though, they are starting to get to me. I can feel it, like they're building up. But see, like I'm not being crazy because I didn't have my oatmeal this morning, right? We're being flexible because I didn't want oatmeal. The only on the menu was raisins, brown sugar, and apples. And I was like, I don't want that. So instead of being like, I need to eat oats before I rip a mile, I said, you know what? I'm gonna eat eggs and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'll... <laughs> All right. <sighs> Can you see me now, Mr. Krabs? Today is the Under Armour All Out Mile. I've been putting in the work for the last month. My entire life has led up to this moment. I mean, it has. My entire life's training has led up to this moment. Yeah, we're gonna go rip a mile on the streets of New York today. It's gonna be so interesting because it's just so much different than last year when I ran the all-out mile. Last year, I was literally secluded on a road on the 101 in Encinitas, California by myself. It was so dramatic. Just all day, it was so dramatic. And this time, I'm at like this really cool Under Armour event with really cool people. And we're in New York City, the weather is gonna be just crazy. And we're gonna be running on these like cobblestone streets of the meatpacking district. It's just gonna be so different. We'll see how fast we can go on these streets of New York. It's gonna be really fun. And that's the main purpose of this. Like, even though I am nervous, cause I know it's gonna hurt. Like I'm not nervous for the result. I don't even care if I run 10 minutes. I think it'll just be fun to push myself. I haven't pushed myself in a long time. <laughs> in terms of like running, uh, sprinting a mile, you know what I mean? I wonder how many people here are gonna be doing the mile? There's not that many of us, but let's, let's get a little fit check here. I didn't know what to pick from the kit, but it's like a tech material, it's good. I got these shorts, I brought these from home, these Under Armour ones, because they just seem a little bit better fitted. Split shorts. I don't remember the last time I sprinted in split shorts, but we're going with it. We got the Under Armour crew cut socks. I didn't shave my legs, which usually I would shave my legs before a race, but you know, Honestly, I just forgot, so. These Under Armour socks though, look at these, they're pretty sick. I have this 
same pink sports bra that I wore yesterday, but I'm gonna change in this black one because this one is a size smaller and I need more compression. <laughs> but these sports bras, I talk about them so often. This sports bra with the cross in the back and like it, it snaps together in the back. It's incredible. I need this now. <laughs> I didn't realize in the past like why people needed sports bras like this and now I understand. So yeah, I'm gonna change into this because it's just a size smaller. Gotta, gotta compress everything, you know? Usually I would go for a tank top because I like, I like when my like race fits are really tight, but I don't have a tight tank top to wear. So this one is a good, it's not tight, but it's a good material, whatever. Should I wear my tracksuit too? Like really just like gear up for this? These other medium people are gonna think I'm insane. Okay, come on. I am insane. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm freaking out, you guys. I'm freaking out. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. These track, like, these little, like, trouser things, I'm kind of digging it. They look cool. Okay, come on. Make a smile. Oh. oh my gosh, I actually am insane. Yep, I am insane. So, this is life behind the scenes of Emma Abrahamson. Okay, I'm gonna change really quick. Bro, I literally have issues. Ew, I'm so nervous. Okay, I feel better in this bra. I literally would bet money that no one else at this event is doing this. Like, no one else is being this stressed. And also, I don't run until like two hours from now, over two hours. I'm like, okay, stop. I can't think anymore. Okay, I'm probably stressing people out by like filming this. I gotta stop. I promise you don't need to be this dramatic. The camera's also on, okay? Take that into account. You know what I realized? I have not had, I literally have had zero sips of water today. Oh! Don't take racing advice from me because first of all, this is not a competitive race, so I'm taking it way less seriously than I should. Um, and just don't ever take racing advice from me. Hey, 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 hey. We got the fit. Fit check. Yeah, we got the shorts. We got the track pant bottom thingies, which I'm gonna have to take off, obviously. We got Under Armour socks, the flows, the shoes that we're gonna get upstairs, so we'll see in a second. We got the cha, we got the sports bra. I think I might have to bring my phone with me on the run, so I'm gonna bring this fanny pack with me just in case, because I kinda wanna take some content during the mile. I feel like that would be fun. I'm gonna be dying, but I feel like it might be fun. We'll see what I can do. Should I wear a watch, or should I be surprised? Like, do I want to know how fast I'm going? My heart rate's already 100 and I'm kneeling down. No one else in their hotel rooms is doing this right now. No one else is being insane like me. Oh, I should have gone for a shake out this morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, should we do our pep talk? Okay, Emma, I know you're scared to feel the pain of the mile. We're not scared for the result. We don't care, we want to have fun. That's the main reason of being here right now. But we are scared of the pain. You can do anything that you put your mind to. It's one mile. It's one mile. Literally nothing is on the line here. There's nothing, there's zero things on the line. So don't be stressed. Just have fun and get after it. <sighs> All right, who's ready to race? We gotta go to some panels first though. We're talking about like mental training and everything. And I think it'll be good because I do need to relax a little. Like I'm really stressed for some reason. This is the street that we're gonna be running on. Like it's packed with people in cars and then we're gonna turn down that way and go towards the West Side Highway, I think. But like people are gonna be watching us just sprint. It's gonna be kind of funny. Why do I feel like I need like headphones to like gear me up for the race, you know? I haven't listened to enough music this morning. Like I need Lil John screaming in my ear. Whatever, we take what we can get and I had to eat my breakfast instead of listening to hardcore music. We are celebrating the launch of the UA Flow Synchronicity, which is the first running shoe built on a women's glass. But what I love about this shoe is um, it was built by women, it was built for women, it was built for their form, it was built for their speed, it was built for them on their journey to compete, and I think that's wildly important. Um, good effective space in the robot here. Turbo. We are going to be chatting here all about mindset and performance, certainly revolving around the female athlete. Kelly and I about to go rip a mile. How are you feeling about it? I learned that you're supposed to get your cortisol as high as possible before you race. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's what you don't do. Oh good, because mine's already super high, so I'm ready to go. You're at least going to beat me. We'll see. 
If you don't, that's a bad day for you. <laughs> um, I'm a little confused. I don't know if we're warming up or not, but I'm gonna pull a hammy if I don't, so. It's a little hot out here, I will say. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> I'll be leading the run. I work for Under Armour, so I work on our sports marketing side of the business, and I uh, manage our, our run athletes and partnerships. So excited to do a run, having that part of this. If y'all don't know, Under Armour is doing what we're calling the All Out Mile. And really, it's a challenge for everyone to run their All Out Mile. So today, we're going to celebrate that. We're going to do our best attempt at doing the All Out Mile. We are in the streets of New York, so with safety is first. Your body just doesn't work like in the strange way. All right, we're walking to the corner where we're starting. Let's get after it. I don't know how much I'm going to be filming. Get over here. traffic lights. Going on West Side Highway. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my god. Whew. Everyone went a different way. You know what, that was pretty hard. <laughs> 617, <sighs> good effort on the day. I'm standing under a tree because it's so hot. Running a mile is harder than I thought, especially when you're not training for it. I can see why people don't like it, like in PE class. <sighs> My stomach feels a little odd. I feel a little unwell. Last year, when it was so intense, I ran 549, I think. So pretty far off, but the conditions are polar opposite and I'm just glad that I did it and I went out there honestly this sort of stuff is like exposure therapy almost it's like I have none of the ideal conditions I didn't even warm up and I still went out there and did it no excuses wasn't gonna postpone it to another day there we go stopped it a little late 617 618 no difference really <laughs> I was honestly scared I was gonna pull a hamstring that the breathwork warm-up wasn't what I would usually do to rip a mile, but I'm always down to try something new these days, why not? I will say, I don't think my legs went lactic at all, actually, because I don't even think I'm at the, the fitness I need to have my legs go lactic, you know what I mean? It was more my lungs. Something like, humidity really is a poor man's altitude, man. People that run in New York City in the summer, literally built different. I ran one mile and I'm just drenched in sweat. It was so fun though. I honestly had a great time. How'd it go, Bella? 6.17. Whoa! In this heat? That felt terrible. <laughs> I got halfway and I was like, oh bro, I think it went out too hard, which is what I said not to do. Was it nice to be back in your old stomping ground? Yeah, I love the West Side Highway, middle of the day. This is what I would do back last summer, you know? Any hotties? It. Any what, hotties? I wasn't really paying attention. I was just paying attention to me flying down the road, you know? <laughs> How was it? It was so easy. <laughs> it was seamless. It was seamless. I didn't even feel pain at all. I did 1.25 in 25 minutes. Okay, that's, hey, that's longer than me. I only ran one. You know what the best thing to do is after you spend a mile? Just sit down. <laughs> I jogged probably one minute, so. I kind of miss that pain, not gonna lie. And now we grub. Ripping a mile, then eating a cheeseburger. Nothing better, am I right, fellas? Now we got espresso martinis after. <laughs> We're out. Can I hug you? Where? All right, I'm skirting out of here. All right, see you everyone later. Bye. Talk soon. Whew, we are back. What a trip. Let me tell you guys that right now. Today has been a day. I feel like it's been the longest day ever. Remember when I was eating my omelet this morning? Stressing out? Today was a lot of fun though. I had a great time. Under Armour is so nice. Everyone on their team is so nice and truly cares about the products that they're creating. It has been such a good experience. I can't even explain. And the mile was good. I felt a little ill after, I will say. The stomach hurt a little bit, but we're good now. We're Gucci. I've never said that, and why am I doing a shaka? I'm going to shower, and we'll see what we get up to tonight. Uh, it's 6 p.m. I'm going to dinner with one of my friends that I know here, and we're gonna go to Saigon Shack, which is one of my favorite places in New York City. I used to live by there, Greenwich Village. It's like Thai food and, or Vietnamese food. I don't even know, but I feel like ill, you guys. I feel like ill. <laughs> 
I think I need to drink more water or something. I don't know, I'm not feeling great. So I'm hoping once I eat some real food, that I'll feel better. But I don't think my body um, liked ripping a mile today. <laughs> it was really fun, but I'm kind of like facing the wrath at the moment. Um, just my head hurts a bit. So if I'm not all cheery, that's why. But I'm hoping by the time I um, eat dinner, I'll be better. I'll keep you guys in the loop because everyone really cares about how I'm feeling. Walking the streets. Okay, I wanted to go to Saigon Shack because it's my, one of my favorite restaurants here, but um, it was too busy and I'm really hungry, so I'm here with Cole. You've been in a video before, I think. Briefly, you like cut me out for a second. Oh, he doesn't like that I cut him out of the video. Well, you're in it now, so. Hello, fans. We are here at... Rosso. Pepe Rosso. I'm gonna get the spaghetti pesto, probably. Oh my goodness. We've got bread. We've got bread. Ooh, hey, that's actually good. Bon appetit. We've got the pesto pasta. What'd you get? I got the uh, rigatoni pancetta and tomato cream sauce. Yum! I ate all my food. They already took the plates away. We both ate all our food. How was yours? Part of the, the big boy and girl club. The big boy and girl club, we finished our pasta. <laughs> Mom would be proud. Where's my medal? Okay, I'm literally drenched in sweat because I just walked around all morning with Lydia Lou. I had got no footage, but we made some TikToks. First off, let me say this shit again. Damn. Walk down with the Denny, that's my fucking evil twin. Hundred rounds. But we mostly just talked for hours, so that was fun. But I need to check out my hotel right now, and I'm in a rush. And I got back really late, and I'm always rushing. And then I'm gonna go to the airport. Maybe I'll just end the video here. It was a really fun trip, honestly. Like, it was the perfect trip. I didn't go out at all, which I'm kind of glad because I didn't want to be tired. And I feel good. I feel great. I'm ready to go home and sleep in my own bed. But the slumber here at the Ganselvort in the meatpacking was lovely. So shout out Under Armour. They are seriously the best. This has been an amazing business trip. And yeah, okay, I gotta go. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, podcast. Bye.